South Carolina faced off against Auburn. Then we got a four-course meal for you today, starting with none other than Camila Cardoso. But trust me, you're going to want to stay to the end because we saved the best for last. The Brazilian Stallion starts off getting some easy points in the paint. And this is Team Chemistry personified. They getting on the ball in just the right positions. No ego. Nobody taking dumb shots. Camila Cardoso didn't have a huge offensive game going 5 of 11 from the field with a total of 13 points. This game was pretty close in the first half, but once again, South Carolina just too many bodies. No team can compete with them through four quarters. They just get too gassed. But back to Camila, you know offensive rebounding is her thing, and she about to try to the line because they can't keep their hands off her. And look at this, a rare smile that I captured. Sometimes I'm like, girl, you balling the fuck out. Crack a smile or something. Show us some other emotion other than that you on demon time. One key note which a lot of people question is Chloe Kitts didn't play in this game, who she has a lot of chemistry with Camila Cardoso. They said she was a game time decision, she wasn't feeling well, but I think I have an idea of what's wrong with her, but I ain't gonna get into that. But what we can get into is the quiet game from Tahina Pow Pow. She's been quiet over the last few games, only ended up with 5 points in this game, but the 3 pointer she hit was spectacular. And look at that, just off the dribble, step back, no screen at all. She shot one of six from the field, that one being her only field goal. She did get to the line a couple times, which we'll show you here. And while y'all check that out, let me double back to my point about Chloe Kitts. She did not play in this game, but luckily, Don Staley and her recruiting, Ashton Watkins came in and played an unbelievable game. By far the player of the game. And without further ado, let's take a look at Ashton Watkins. This player right here just shows how good of a coach and recruiter that Don Staley is. To have this kind of player coming off the bench, I'm sure everybody would say that she's better than Chloe Kitts. She got an 11 inch vertical, we already seen her dunk in a game. She's pretty much unstoppable around the rim, it's either an easy 2 points or an and 1. Ashley Watkins ended up with 5 blocks in this game, and the player she was matched up against, Taylor Collins, was 1 of 8 from the field. And I'll take that. I'll have that too. She literally killed it on the boards, 15 rebounds. It seemed like nobody wanted to get in her way. Nobody wanted to jump with her. I mean, she ended up with 10 defensive rebounds. The 5-0 boards is customary, but 10 on the defensive end is just crazy. And then right here, off of a Bree Hall miss, she gets the offensive rebound, kicks it back out to Bree Hall, and then gets the offensive rebound again. Now trust me, I love Chloe Kitts. Beautiful, scrappy player, high IQ. But if I was the coach, ain't no way she getting that starting job back. I'm sorry, one game is all I needed to see. But with that being said, please brace yourself for the spectacular Malaysia for Wiley. Her new nickname is Downhill. And uh, uh oh, excuse me. I mean, damn, was that fucking Allen Iverson? Malaysia Downhill for Wiley is being called a generational talent. Just look at the hezzy. She got that ball on the screen and watched it too small Sally. And one thing you know Don Staley don't like doing is calling ISOs, but she gotta make an exception because this is just crazy. And at this point, she just smelling blood in the water because she taking everybody on. And this is what I mean. Look at this. Straight downhill. No hesitation. Full head of steam. And I literally just thought of that on the spot. I like that nickname, Downhill for Wally. Got a nice little ring to it if you ask me. But that's just how I am. Even in my personal life, I get everybody a nickname. Especially in basketball, it gives you an idea of who that player is and how they play on the court. And just look at the athleticism. John Morant style steal, and then just casually going to the left hand. Like, come on now. Stop it. Not only does she get busy on offense, she's a fierce competitor getting the block right there. South Carolina came out on top winning this game 76, Auburn 54. Comment your thoughts. Who is your favorite player on the South Carolina Gamecocks? Can you guess who my favorite player is? But we'll talk again later. I'm Elsa True for PRNM. Talk to you on the next one.